Yo, what's up guys, this video I'm going to show you the best settings in Valorant that I've been using for a long time. I'm pretty sure these settings are going to help you and you're going to learn a lot in this video. But before the video starts, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. So now enjoy the tutorial. So the first settings that we are going to talk about is enemy highlight color. So for me the best enemy highlight color is yellow because it's more brighter than red, it stick out more and it's also one of the quickest color to respond to. Also player like Tens, Scream, Brax and Haiko uses yellow color so for me the best one is yellow but you need to see which one is best for you. So moving to the next one. The next setting that you need to change is keep player centered. You need to make sure that this setting is off because when it's on you can only see half of the map but when it's off you can see the whole map. So yeah moving to the next one. So everything else in general settings is default so the next setting I'm going to show you is in controls and you need to change the jump button that you use. I think if you change it to mouse wheel up it's going to be way easier to so bunny hop and jump pick and everything else that is uh, connected with jumping so I think it's going to be more efficient and more easy but you need to try it for yourself so a lot of you asked me about my crosshair settings so right now I'm going to show you the two crosshairs that I use and I'm going to leave the codes for the crosshairs in the description so you can check them out and yeah moving to the next one well now to the video settings so make sure the displayed mode is full screen so you don't have any delay while you're playing limit fps as you can see everything else is on off make sure nvidia reflects low latency is on or on plus boost if you have that settings because it just feels more smooth and it's just removing the latency from your game so make sure to try it and see the differences and see which one is the best for you so now moving to the graphics quality settings so for me everything here is on low or off so I can get the best performance and the best FPS in game. If you have a little bit more stronger PC you can change some settings to medium or make the anti-aliasing 2x or 4x so you can see the game better and see your skins better but it's about personal preference and you need to choose which one is the best for you and get most out of the game. So yeah. So now the stats. For me everything is disabled, the only thing I got on is the client FPS because it's like not, not distracting me and I think and yeah that's the only reason that I have only my FPS on. So now I'm moving to the audio settings. So I think most of these settings here about the audio are default so make sure to try it yourself, see which ones are best for you because we use different headphones, different mics and yeah. So now I'm going to show you a couple of Windows settings, so go to your settings, type Windows updates and check if you got any Windows updates so you can optimize your PC. So now go to gaming, go to game mode and make sure it's on so it disables uh, some apps that work in the background. Now go to Xbox game bar and make sure it's off because it sometimes sends some notification and things like that. So now go to control panel go to system and security and now you need to look for uh, power options here make sure it's on high performance so you know that your pc is working at his best and yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this type of content make sure to leave a comment and subscribe so yeah guys, see you in the next one